Hi and welcome to the next chapter of Breakbeat Science, this time with an old school drum and bass vibe on the Artoria Micro Freak. And in this video we are going to take things a little bit differently. We are laying out our samples with a bass area and a breakbeat area across the keyboard and I'm going to show you how to achieve this. So we have here on the keyboard um, an upper area starting with the breakbeat. Oh, let me quickly um, turn the loop down. So this is the famous hot pants break and it just loops all the time. And right below it we have the bass. Nice. Again, the mod matrix is your friend to achieve this. And you need to load a bass sample and a breakbeat sample next to each other. This time we are not going to assign a sample to every key on the keyboard, but we are using a much lesser amount of keyboard tracking. And that means that we are basically assigning areas on the keyboard to certain samples. And in those areas you can play the samples chromatically. This takes a little bit of tweaking of the values that you enter in the mod matrix and therefore I summarized the settings which I found to work best for me. And now since we would also like to resequence the breakbeat, we're using the very old trick of chopping it up according to the 16th notes. What that means is we need to engage the step sequencer and then step record for every note in the sequence the position inside the breakbeat so that the sequencer then wiggles the wave knob for us. Let's scan through the steps inside the sequence. So you could here recycle through all the steps in the sequence and ended up on the last 16th note. And to make this less confusing, I have here a picture which really shows you the numbers that you need to enter for each step in the sequence. And with this you can completely rearrange the breakbeat as you see fit. So now that you know the setup, it's time for a final jam. So this was my attempt at old school drum and bass on the Arturia Microfreak. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.